Hello everyone, my name is Abrão Rosa, and I'm a medical student here in the south of Brazil. I'm part of the medical mycology group at the Federal University of Rio Grande, FUG. I want to share a surprising story from our research in an article titled Familiar Outbreak of Sporotocosis with a Typical Manifestation in Southern Brazil. First, a quick background. Sporotocosis is a fungal infection that's a big public health problem in Brazil. It's caused by a fungus named Sporothrix. And our main concern now is the way it transmits from animals to people, meaning that this disease is now a zoonotic disease. The main culprit is the highly aggressive fungus species Sporothrix brasiliensis, which is carried by infected cats, the main victims. Our report focuses on a single family of four members living right here in Rio Grande, an area where this disease is extremely common. The source of infection was sadly their domestic cat, which had a severe form of sporotrichosis. All four family members came into contact with the cat and later developed symptoms. Typically, sporotrichosis shows up as a skin lesion, like an ulcer or a bump, and it often moves up along the arm through the lymph nodes. Patient 1, the father, got scratched by the cat and had this classic form. Patient 2 also had a skin lesion caused by a scratch and a bite, but she developed something unusual an eye infection called Perinodes syndrome. And here's the surprising part. Most of the family had unusual symptoms. Out of the four infected people, three developed these atypical forms. Patient three, a 17-year-old daughter, only developed a serious eye infection. No scratches or bites were reported. This suggests that she was probably infected by simply being close to the cat. Perhaps while she was sleeping, she came into contact with fungal particles present in the cat's sneezing or secretions. The youngest patient, a toddler, patient 4, didn't have typical lesions at all. Instead, she developed a severe red rash around her mouth, which is called erythema multiforme. This is actually a strong hypersensitivity reaction triggered by the cat's fungal antigens. The good news is, we followed the patients closely, the diagnosis was made quickly, and the treatment worked well. We confirmed the infection using lab tests and molecular analysis, identifying the aggressive Sporothrix brasiliensis. All patients who completed the treatment were cured using the standard medicine, itraconazole. The main message we want to share is simple but crucial. In areas where sporotrichosis is common, doctors and healthcare workers need to have a high suspicion for this disease, even if the patient shows up with a strange form of it, such as an eye infection or maybe a skin rash. Recognizing these cases, is essential for timely diagnosis and better patient outcomes. Thank you for watching. I hope you read the article. And remember, always think about fungus. See you.